So I want to get everyone here excited about all of the microbial metabolites that are in our guts and what they mean for our mental health. Now, I just want to start off by showing you all this picture. Now, this isn't a still from the next Disney movie. This is actually all of the stuff that's going on inside of your gut. All of these different colors are different microbes that have been imaged with electron microscopy. And the goal of studying the microbiome in humans is to essentially figure out what are all these microbes doing here and what exactly do they mean in terms of our health. I'm very interested in taking a specific look at what exactly these microbes are able to produce while they're inside of our guts and how that affects our mental health. Now, we're not exactly sure what kind of mechanisms all of these microbes can affect us through, and we're still learning how to disentangle all of these different factors that affect our guts and our brain. So one really important factor to start us off here is food. So this is a picture of your Mediterranean diet or a healthy diet. You see that there's lots of colors, lots of fruit and vegetables, and lots of different sources of fiber. So the thing about fiber is that we can't actually break it down. And what's amazing is that we have microbes in our guts that have specific machinery that we don't have, that the microbes can use to break down the fiber. So we don't actually digest it, our microbes do it for us. And when they digest these fibers, they also produce a host of different molecules. These molecules are called short chain fatty acids, and they can then signal within our gut with our immune system and with some of the immune cells that can affect our brains. These metabolites, they can go into our bloodstream, they can affect other organs, and they can affect how we respond to stress. We have other foods here which produce, which have protein inside of them, and that can be broken down to create different tryptophan related metabolites. And these metabolites are very important for regulating our mood, our gut motility, and they're involved in regulating the levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin within our guts and within our blood. And the theory goes that by changing what you eat, you could potentially affect your mood by changing the availability of all of these different metabolites that we're still trying to learn about and figure out exactly what they're doing. So 95% of serotonin is actually produced in our gut and it's stimulated by host microbes that eat all of these foods along with us. So let's talk about why microbiome diversity and eating a diverse diet is really important. Now, what you eat is going to affect the microbes in your gut for up to two days. And if you eat a diet that's very diverse, it's going to have a different effect than if you, for example, eat the same exact food for every meal. Now, this is really fascinating when you consider that everybody has a different response metabolically to these different foods, in part because of our different microbiomes. It's crucially important that we keep trying to understand exactly how, this, how all of these foods influence our microbes and how these microbes generate all of the molecules that are somehow able to influence our brain. In a lot of animal studies, we see effects, uh, we see neuroprotective effects, we see effects on behavior and mood, and we're just at the precipice of trying to see exactly what these metabolites can do to us, the humans. So hopefully 
within the coming years, we'll have a better idea of how these foods influence our mood through microbial metabolites. Thank you.